Well, David, tell me a little bit about your background mm -hmm. and how you then came across molecular hydrogen. All right. Well, um, I've been um, I've been uh, working on cruise ships and uh, for three years, and uh, I was actually uh, I was traveling around the wo around the world, and um, and there was a time when I when I actually came to Ireland, and uh, it really. Uh, I really felt like I have to I have to stay there for some time, so I quit the cruise ship's life and uh, I moved to Ireland and I started um, uh, studying at Dublin Business School. And uh, at the time, uh, when I was actually at the final year, I came across hydrogen, and then I moved over to Czech Republic, and I was getting more into hydrogen because there was a business uh, associated with it, and I was learning more about. Um, the effects of hydrogen on human, uh, not only human body, but also on animals. And uh, we got so many, uh, you know, feedbacks, very positive feedbacks from people um, using hydrogen products. So at that time, after a couple of years, um, I, I decided to go much farther than just into selling, you know, hydrogen products because I said, well, this is so interesting that uh, I have to help it to get it more public, so more people get it, get, get to know about hydrogen. And so we set up the Molecular Hydrogen Institute here, the only one in, in, in Europe. The, there is another one in uh, US, and there are a couple of other organizations in Asia. And there was a time when I started really to be so active in the hydrogen world. Hydrogen water machines I do know about, but what are the other products that are available now? Well, there are hydrogen machines that do generate hydrogen water. And there are also hydrogen machines that do um, uh, generate uh, gas so we can inhale it, inhalation. Like an oxygen mask, but hydrogen. Exactly, yes. And then uh, there are also uh, food supplement products, uh, such as tablets. Uh, you can either uh, drop them in the water and they're dissolving, or you can, uh, uh, dig uh, you can they're, they're like a digestible tablet, so you can eat them. And... Um, there is uh, Professor Mjolkovic, uh, he's the uh, scientist and he has over 30 patents um, uh, registered on his name and he's the one who is actually uh, like manufacturing these, uh, these tablets and um, well I met him uh, many years ago and um, he introduced me to you know the topic of um, hydrogen and he gave me more information about it and uh, there was a time when I actually, you know, was so passionate about learning more and setting up the institute. And so there are, in the world now, there are a number of products you can actually get. They produce hydrogen. And what we want to do, we want to help people to get these products into their homes, use them on a daily basis, because uh, it helps them a lot with their health. And um, also from the... Um, you know, a beauty perspective. It helps people to uh, get better with their with their skin. You know, because many people they have uh, skin problems. You know, the topical issues. You know, psoriasis, for example. And uh, not only studies, but also a physical evidence that uh, hydrogen helps. You know, with your uh, skin problems. And I didn't realize until I heard people mention it this morning that. I could actually go and have a hydrogen bath to benefit my skin. Well, that's that's um, that's another topic we kind of developed because um, um, there was a time we were thinking about how we can um, catch people to use hydrogen more, uh, not only to drink the water or uh, practice the inhalation. But also, you know, as you know, the, the tablets they can swallow or drop in the water. But then we learned that because, you know, the topical use is not so well known, then uh, I was doing some research and I, I learned that there's not so much information about the fact that people can actually do hydrogen buffing. You know, they can practice it even at home, but they don't have the products to use. So we, we developed kind of a system where they can not only use it at home, but they can also visit a special uh, places uh, where they can actually take a hydrogen bath. Now they can also have a hydrogen massage. They can, they can actually have a hydrogen mask. Um, 
wraps as well, uh, wrapping the body into, you know, into foil and to have an hydrogen on you. Um, so now at the moment we're working on developing hydrogen products as a cosmetics, a cosmetics line. And that's going to be quite interesting because that's, that's going to be a product you can use at home or you can actually um, have it uh, ready for your customers if you run such a place as a spa, you know. Um, there are many places like uh, in Czech or in Slovakia or even in Hungary, uh, they they use um, a special spa like, you know, they have a beer spa or wine spa. And now they also uh, actually uh, promote hydrogen, you know. So we are the pioneers of this, ter of this term of hydrogen spa, whereby you can actually undertake the, these uh, procedures and you can buy hydrogen as a service. Yeah, I mean, I can understand you getting quite passionate about it because, of course, there is a business opportunity there. But it seems to me it's almost miraculous in the things that it can do to help all sorts of conditions and all sorts of aspects of your body. Yes, exactly. Well, there are studies. There's, there are thousands of studies available at the moment. There are many of them are not being published yet. That's what I learned here when I'm talking to the, uh, you know, the scientists here. They said we have so many studies available, we, we haven't published them yet. We're waiting for the right time. So this is something which keeps me more and more excited because uh, I know it's going to be difficult because once, uh, you know, you get more involved in such an um, industry where, you know, there is... Um, pharmaceutical involved as well it might not be so easy but i'm sure it will get out quite soon and uh, finally we can help to more people now tell me about the people who are addressing the conference where do you get these speakers from well because i'm actually interested in hydrogen more than just you know selling some products um, i've been talking to many professionals meeting them uh, um, and while visiting uh, special conferences and, and talking to people, I've made some friends and I decided that, you know, we really have to invite the top people from uh, Japan. And that's what actually happened. We have organized the conference. This is the seventh conference actually in Europe. And we managed to invite them here. Well, they flew all the way down here 14 hours just to speak for 25 minutes, which is really interesting. And um, also, there are other plans we have together because we would like to make sure that people uh, get to know more about hydrogen, that we will be able to speak about it in public and promote hydrogen more from the, sci from, from the scientific point of view. So that, that keeps me really excited that they're so motivated to come here and to present. And these are world experts we're talking about? Yes. They are experts, they are professors, they uh, the professors from uh, uh, Japan, from universities. They, they do research on hydrogen, also from Russia, from Moscow, from Voronezh, uh, from here, from Slovak Academy of Science, uh, Professor Slezak, also from Czech Republic, uh, from Poland. Uh, so it is really uh, interesting um, audience and I believe that uh, you know, this is just the beginning because there, I know there are more scientists uh, involved in hydrogen research. So I would like to actually get more of them into one place. And the conference next time should be not just one day. It should be two days at least or three days. So people learn more about uh, uh, hydrogen from uh, more scientists and professionals. Why do you think it is that we're really only hearing about molecular hydrogen in recent years? But for 10 or 15 years, this has been very common in Japan. Well, I think this is something we need to explore because uh, when you're talking to the scientists and we are asking them uh, why do they think that it's so popular in uh, in Asia more than in Europe or America, and and when we talk about it, uh, we still come back to the point that is uh, when you actually when you have a government which is promoting and helping you, you know, to get visible, then obviously. That's the fact that if you know if you don't have any you know help, you don't have any uh, support from anyone. It's difficult to market something, you know. And then you get the products, right? So more products you market out to the people, and uh, more people find out about um, the effects of hydrogen. So it's a combination of both. Yeah, and I didn't realize until I heard this morning that 
the Japanese government has approved hydrogen therapy in hospitals and that there yeah. are patients being treated in hospitals with hydrogen therapy. So they obviously put faith in the research which shows in animal studies and human comparisons that, 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 that this stuff is hugely beneficial. Yeah, well, I mean, the um, hydrogen is one of the therapeutic gases. Do you also have uh, ozone? The, you know, uh, when you hear about oxygen, you know oxygen helps people as well. You have oxygen therapy as well. But uh, there are study, studies uh, being undertaken uh, on uh, plants as well, In, for example, in China, um, because hydrogen helps plants to grow better and um, faster and also uh, on animals not only as like testing uh, the product on animals but i mean really uh, testing whether the animals get better when they have a health issue you know so that that's really quite interesting so we can actually use hydrogen anywhere really and tell me about the participants in the conference, who comes to a conference like this? Because you have quite a big audience there. Yeah, we do. Uh, well, I have a list of uh, speakers here. And um, uh, there are actually, th the, there was a previous conference uh, which I attended in May this year in Seoul, in Korea. And um, unfortunately, I couldn't get hold of the other uh, presenters, which I want to do for the next conference. But uh, I actually got the, um, the pioneer of hydrogen research is uh, Professor Ohta. Um, and, and he wrote a number of years ago, he wrote actually this book, um, Hydrogen Molecule uh, Biology and Medicine. Mm -hmm. That's quite interesting. Uh, what we've done is I've approached uh, Springer, uh, the um, German company, and uh, I asked them if I can reprint the books because uh, actually nobody knows about this book in Europe. So we've done so and now we're actually uh, trying to spread the book um, to the professional world because as I can see now at the conference, people are striving for, to get more information, you know, and they have it in the book actually. But who are the audience? Who comes to the conference the audience, to listen to these experts? Well, we invited uh, doctors, professionals, uh, from, the, uh, from the sports industry, also uh, physiotherapists and also owners of uh, spas and, and hotels and, uh, well, all the people who might be interested in, in hydrogen, um, not only for their uh, profession, but also from the business point of view, you know, because we started um, the first hydrogen spa in the world here in the hotel uh, near Ostrava and now we already have a second place uh, on the other side of Czech Republic. And uh, it, it's quite interesting because this, um, uh, this is the industry which is going to be evolving. It's going gonna, it's gonna to grow, you know. We, we have first couple of spas and they, they um, help people to, you know, get better, feel better and look better using hydrogen. And now you also get a cosmetic salons, you know, they can use hydrogen. We are actually developing new products and it's going to be fantastic because then hydrogen will be available for, for even, uh, you know, the household.